Hello coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have another European country that we're doing and I'm pretty excited about this one. It's the Austrian coin set from the millennium year, the year 2000. And so these are all the coins from Austria uh, that were minted in the year 2000. So we have over here we have the 20 shilling coin, the 10 shilling, the 5 shilling, the 1 shilling, the 50 groschen, and the 10 Groschen coins. So let's start with the lowest denomination first and then we will work our way up. And this of course is the 10 Groschen coin. And this is a really, really, really light coin. It weighs only a little over a gram, 1.1 grams. It is an aluminum coin and you almost will never see one that looks like this because aluminum scratches so easily. This comes from a proof or uncirculated set and this of course those of you who know the year 2000 know that of course Austria went to the euro and so they did release 10 Groschen coins in the year 2000 and um, but they only on the 10 Groschen they only released the proof series. They did that in 2000 and 2001. And then, of course, on February 28th of 2002, they demonetized them because they went to the euro. So what do we have on a 10 Groschen coin? Well, this right here is uh, the front of the coin or the obverse. Wait a second. Yes. It is. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you about the 10 Groschen coin. It's the only Austrian coin that has the, the value on both sides. So this is, see, this actually has the 10 on it three times, twice on this side. And this up here is the Austrian coat of arms. It's an Imperial Austrian eagle carrying the Austrian shield on its breast. And if we tip it up, I've never seen this in a, in a circulating coin because you just lose these lines and you lose the kind of crown on the eagle. And you see down here how the, the legs come down and it's holding something. Can you see what it's holding? It's holding a like a hammer on this side, an anvil or hammer, I mean a hammer. And then on this side, it has broken its chain. So see how the chain has been broken here? So it's broken free, this Austrian eagle, the Imperial Eagle. 1010 Republic Austerite here. And see how it scallops around the outside. They call it a scalloped rim. And if we tip it up on its side, we see that it is smooth. And it's funny because the aluminum value in this probably exceeds any value that it had um, ever in terms of uh, 10 Groschen or even now. Right now, it's hard to get a value on these for probably 85 cents U.S., a little under a dollar U.S. And then we get to the back, and we also see the 10. And then here's the Groschen here. Scalloped edges again, and there it is, the year 2000, the millennium year. Next up, we have the 50 Groschen coin. And let's get this set up. So see how this one kind of travels around the outside? So it says... Republic travels up to the top. Austrike comes down through. We have the two dots there over the O and the one dot uh, between the two. And again, this one you see, this is a shield also. And you notice that this is not an aluminum coin. It's not solely aluminum. It's aluminum bronze. So this is a really light coin too. It weighs three grams, but it gets its color from the bronze. So it is 91.5% aluminum and 8.5, I mean 91.5% bronze and 8.5% aluminum. And we see this one has a reeded rim. Let me go over that one more time. It's mostly bronze, 91.5% bronze, 8.5% uh, aluminum. And on this, this is called the Austrian escutcheon or shield here too. And if we tip it up, and tip it over, we see that this has its value only on the uh, reverse side. And this is a flower, a gentian flower, 
or the stemless gentian flower. The binomial name is what they say. And, the, and by flower, I'm talking about this part here that comes out through the zero and the 50. Uh, the binomial name is Gentiana acolis. And part of it's inside the 50. And you see the big 50 here, and then the Groshen here. So 50 Groshen, of course, is worth one half of a shilling. And let's get to that shilling. And the shilling coins from Austria have always been kind of a real stable, solid kind of coin. And that's what we have here, too. Again, it's 91.5% bronze, 8.5% aluminum. And on this side here, what we see is, um, and this is the reverse, and these are three Edelweiss flowers, um, you know, the Edelweiss from the song. Um, and we see uh, these kind of mountain flowers here kind of growing right in the center of the shilling coin. And you see where it says Ein Schilling or one shilling with the dash in between. Now, this is a Ferdinand Welts, or Welts uh, engraving. And uh, then if we flip it up on its side, we see the smooth edge. And then we get to the back and we see the value in a little bit of my thumbprint here. Um, and it says Republic Austrike, one shilling, and of course the year 2000. Now, all of these coins that we're looking at today were demonetized on February 28, 2002. So even this was put out in 2000, uh, it was not um, of any spending value after the year February 2002. In Austria in 2000, though, they did produce 42.2 million shillings, which um, are worth about $2.82 each. And this one here is probably worth close to that. It's probably worth somewhere around two plus dollars um, in this condition. Next, we have the five shilling. And I'm going to start with this side on the five shilling because, as many of you know, the five shilling is a special coin and the other side's kind of the special part, the kind that the people uh, collect from around the world for various reasons. So this is, it says shilling and then it says five, two zero on this side, zero zero, so year 2000. Then down here underneath, we see in this copper nickel coin, so we're starting to get some weight up in this too. 4.8 grams is a copper nickel coin. The Guinea, the Austria, or Austrian escutcheon, or the shield. And these are two laurel branches here. Um, laurel um, in the sense of uh, peace. Uh, laurel in the sense of the laurel wreaths that you sometimes see on the Roman statues or on actually uh, Queen Elizabeth's first portrait, she's wearing laurel. And then we see it as a smooth edge. And then on the back, you see the reason why this is extremely collectible. And that's because it has the Lippenzahner stallion on it. This is a Hans Cotton Storfer um, engraving. And it's a uh, Lippenzahner stallion with a rider facing to the left. And just look at the detail on that engraving. Republic dot and then Osterreich and of course the two dots on the O there and look at how it's kind of got its legs up the riders uh, you know s really straight backed and the horse has this really nice detail on the horse again this coin um, as a five shilling coin has a little bit more value than the other ones they made 75,000 of the proof sets here and in general circulation, one in this condition would be worth about $3.50 U.S. And this is probably worth $3 plus dollars U.S. also. We're going higher. We're getting up to the 10 shilling coin. And, and this is one that's familiar with collectors of Australian coins because this image has been on uh, Australian coins for a long time. And this image on the 10 shilling, which is a copper nickel plated nickel. So it's a, it's a 6.25 gram coin. This image is the head of the woman wearing the traditional um, headgear of what they call Lower Austria. And this is actually from a province in Austria, this particular headgear. And it is uh, a 10 shilling coin. And actually, some you see something interesting on this one. And you actually see down here, she's from the Wachau region, W. A-C-H-A-U, 
and she has the the golden kind of bonnet on her and she is um um it's it's a uh, province that's or state that's along the danube now when we get weight down in here we see that is actually says something and i want to show you that and that is welts and what that is is ferdinand welts w-e-l-z uh engraved did this engraving it's a really famous uh, Austrian engraving and, and look at her bonnet and look at her hair how it curls out in the front this is just a, a really pretty kind of engraving but it also um, uh, has some great detail to it and we tip it up of course the reeded edge and then if you get to the back and you see this image has been on all kinds of Austrian coins and it says Republic Austrike again it has that eagle Again, he's holding the hammer and he's broken the chains, uh, binding his legs, uh, the freedom of this. Um, and it's, the, it's, um, it's carrying the escutcheon, again, of the shield from Austria. Now, last but not least, uh, this is an interesting and kind of a famous Austrian coin. This is the 20 shilling. Now, remember, every year in Austria before the euro, they would have a new 20 shilling coin when they started doing the 20 shilling. And this is the stamped version, and it celebrates the Austrian postal system, which uh, started in 1850. And so in 1850, this stamp that you see came out, um, and all of the stamps in 1850 had the same thing on them, but they just had different values. So I don't know how to pronounce it, but this one uh, is the nine Kreutzer value. And see, I really love how they do this. You know how you get the postmark on there? Well, they actually put the postmark here on here. So you see it says 9-11 and VN. Um, I assume for Vienna, Austria, and I don't know what this down here is. Um, and, and some other numbers. I, don't, I think it's something to do with the date. And then you see the... Um, the, the stamp here from the Australian postal system. You see the crowned. Again, you see this is a double-headed eagle going each way, and it's holding a sword in one of its claws. And the other one, let's see what it's holding. I honestly don't know what it's holding on that stamp. I don't know. It's a kind of a cross-like thing. It says KK Post Stemple, and that is, of course, the Post Stemple is the Austrian um, postal system. If we go around the outside edge, um, we see that it says at the bottom, 1850 to 2000. I'll kind of tip it up and go as we go. So that's the 150th year of the postal system. 150 years, uh, and I don't know what this part of, of, of post postal system in Austria, I believe is what it says. And we tip it up. And a smooth edge and then we get to the back and it's a pretty a plain back but this is a really valuable coin of course it's a 20 shilling republic Austrike, 20 by the escutcheon sure and then it has this square around it now again this is a probably six seven ten dollar coin what's really weird about this one is um that it also was demonetized so it only lasted about a year and a half and it's a pretty high value coin for that short amount of time uh, the engraver of the postal side was andreas zanaschka did this side and the engraver of the uh, other side this side the obverse was kirk bodlock all right well that's all we have for the Australia, Austrian coins from the year 2000. Let's get them all together near each other and kind of back up a little bit and you can see them all one last time uh, before we, stallion side up of course, uh, before we uh, close out this video. All right, have a great day from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our video and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.